Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. Today's video is gonna be two projects using the same stamp set. So we're gonna be making a box and then a gift card holder. So the gift card slides out like that. Um, they were filmed separately, but I'm combining both of them into one video. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. So here's our supplies, pretty simple, but it's very cute. Uh, we're using Coastal Cabana again. Did we use it last week? I think so, I don't know. Okay, and this measures eight and a half by six and three quarters. And then we have the Pattern Party Host Paper that measures three by nine. And then we have some scraps of basic white for stamping, okay? So we're gonna start with stamping. Hey, I, as it seems like I just keep going from like one, one thing to another. Um, the move, the building of the house, uh, a sick family member, um, now Brooke moving, and yeah, you don't want to know how many times she and I have cried over that, but God has other plans for her, and we're going to wish for the best. She is going to be about, I don't know, it's less than two hours, but it's looking like she's gonna be on the west side of Topeka. So that's a little bit further. If she was on the east side, that would be closer to her mama. But anyway, we'll see. Um, so we're using the same images that we used last week. So this is not a repeat. We're using some different images, but we're using the same scale and bowl of cherries or bowl, yeah, that's what it is, bowl of cherries. Brooke bought some cherries the other day. We are sad, but also glad <laughs> for her, you know, to get a job after graduating college. I swear, every time I go, I'm about to go live, I say, okay, I am not gonna talk about all kinds of stuff. Because when I go to edit the videos, it's like, oh my gosh, the video I posted today, that um, crocodile box, I had to edit out so much chat, and I left a lot of it in there, but um, I've gotten a couple snarky uh, comments on my YouTube channel um, lately, so I'm a little um, apprehensive to not edit stuff out, you know? I have never left a snarky comment on anyone's video ever, ever, ever. I can't imagine, I don't know. I messed that one up. That's what I get for talking. You know what I tell my kids? If you can't say something nice, then shut your pie hole. No, I really do say that. Like people, um, people look for reasons to be mad. They should look for reasons to be happy. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Maybe we'll just pretend I never messed up. I'll just cut that part out of the video. Of course, now I can't because I've just mentioned it. <laughs> okay, bring it closer to my face. I had someone uh, this past weekend call me out on saying the word okay again. And I actually de deleted her comment because I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to fix that. I am trying to cut down on how many times I say okay. So it'd be different if I wasn't making every attempt to stop or decrease the times I say it. So for her snarkiness, I decided to delete it. Some negative comments I leave on there because they're entitled to leave it, but when it's something that 
I'm trying to improve on, I hit delete. Plus, it's my channel. I can do what I want. We went to a wedding this weekend and I had someone ask me what it is I do for my job. And I always have the hardest time explaining what I do. I really, you would think after all these years that I would have a really fantastic elevator speech, but I don't. I mentioned this last week. I do not have the gift of gab. And I tell my kids, you can fix anything if you work at it practice um i should i should follow my advice right okay so now we're going to take our scissors and fussy cut these and i did cut them in advance just in case i mess up so i am going to not talk when i cut this out because i do better when i just cut <laughs> Y'all might hear my stomach growl. I'm trying to lose some of the COVID weight I gained because my hubs finally booked our 30th anniversary trip. And I just hope and pray that that trip don't get canceled after all of our trips last year were canceled. Um, so yeah, he finally booked our uh, 30th anniversary trip. And instead of going to Aruba, we're actually going to go to Jamaica. Um, and here's what's even better about it is that <laughs> we're going almost for free because we are using his, his points from back when he traveled. We've been saving them. And so we got our hotel for free and we're getting our flight free as well. So all we'll have to pay for is food and like transportation, like um, like taxi rides and that kind of thing. So, and we're actually gonna stay at an all-inclusive place, which covers food and beverages, but I don't think top shelf beverages. I think, well, I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, in November, our uh, 30th will be, I always forget what the date is. <laughs> is it November 7th or is it November 9th? It's one of those days. I think it's November 9th. Oh, wait, I got one more to cut. <sighs> Are y'all like me? You you have a hard time remembering certain dates? The, the reason is, is because my mother-in-law's birthday is, I think, the 7th. And my sister-in-law was married on the 5th. And then Dave and I were married on the 9th. Yeah, it came back to me. Uh, so sometimes I get a little confused. I don't forget my kids' birthdays, so. The wedding we went to this weekend was at the Abbott uh, downtown in Kansas City. It was so beautiful. The flowers were beautiful. The facility was beautiful. The candles. But I had a migraine. I woke up with it, and I thought I was going to die. I was in bed all day until time for me to get ready to go. So the music... <laughs> just about killed me because my head was hurting so bad, but it was really beautiful. But we did scoot out of there as soon as the meal was over. Um, and I was so thankful David let us leave because I'm not sure I would have been able to stay with my head. I don't, I'm having a lot of headaches again for some reason. I don't know why. I keep thinking it's allergies, but who knows? Okay, so this one we're going to cut out with... Um, well, we're gonna be, uh-oh, I forgot one piece of paper. We need a piece of Poppy Parade. Hmm, 
I'll have to insert that into the uh, beginning of the video. So we're cutting um, this scallop circle and then the greeting out of the, what's the name of this? Tailor made tags. Oh, I've been to Jamaica a couple times. Um, I took my sister on a cruise for her 50th birthday and Jamaica was one of the stops. And Jamaica is actually where I was introduced to rum. And <laughs> I love dark rum. Um, so yeah, we're, we're super excited. Dave and I went, I don't know, it was one of the Stampin' Up trips. So we went to Jamaica for that trip, and then I took my sister on a cruise, and we stopped there for the day. So both times we went to the falls, Ocho, Ocho Rios. Um, so yeah, we're excited. We're gonna see if we can't get ourselves a couple cases of their fabulous rum. I hope this is straight. But you know, we've only been there uh, via a cruise. So we've only spent a day there once and then another day there once with my sister. So I've never spent a whole week there. So I'm not real sure what else there is to do other than drink, <laughs> drink rum. Um, okay, so let me get this circle here and we are going to emboss it with, let's see the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. I should make myself a little cheat sheet. <laughs> See how pretty that is? We're gonna take our Coastal Cabana card stock and we're going to score it on the eight and a half inch side. I like to call that the landscape side. And this is gonna be at three, four, seven, and eight. And then I'm gonna turn it on the six and three quarter side, the portrait side, and I'm gonna score it at one inch, five and a quarter, and six and a quarter. take our bone folder. So we're gonna fold on the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. Okay, so what you wanna do is take See this half inch side over here? Keep that on the left. And what we're gonna do is cut up to the score line, cut up to the score line, cut up, cut up, and then remove this section. Angle cut this. And then we're gonna trim these tabs. Oh yeah, so I was talking about trying to lose weight. Um, I, like many others, yes, gained weight during COVID. I gained a lot actually. <laughs> I'd rather not admit that, but I did. Um, I also eat when I get sad and depressed, so I know some of y'all can relate. Okay, so let me show you what I did again. So this is the bottom of the box and this is the top. So now we're gonna do some cutting over here. So again, this is this half inch strip over here. So I'm gonna remove this part and angle cut this. For the next part, I'm just gonna remove this and then angle cut, okay? There's that one. The next piece, I'm actually going to completely remove that. And preferably cut straight if you can. Okay, then this tab, we're gonna cut off that part and then 
trim to the left and to the right. So that's how it looks right now. <laughs> I cut this one crooked. Hold on one second. There we go. Okay. So now that's how it looks. Final, final. We're going to take the detailed trio punch and we're going to round the top. There's that. Now it's gonna fold like this. This is the front of our box. So I'm gonna take the retired three quarter inch circle punch. You can use whatever circle punch you have. Um, and I'm just gonna notch this just a little bit. Well, let me make sure I'm in the middle. Okay. Now we're gonna put our adhesive here. I went a little past. And then I'm going to use the take your pick tool to remove the backing and then fold this over. That's how it's going to work. So now we just need to add adhesive on the bottom. I'm so hungry. Oh, I for lunch today I had a sandwich, but um, no chips. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to do the lower calorie, but I have a feeling I'm probably gonna go back and do the keto stuff. The problem is when I had my gallbladder removed, uh, high fat kind of bothers me. So maybe I can do more lean fats. Okay, so here's our box. Yeah, my conversation's been all over the place today. Isn't this a nice size box? Now I'll show you guys what fits in there in a couple minutes. I've got lots of little, little things. Okay, so we're gonna take the paper. Why did I put my bone folder up? And we're gonna wrap it around the box like this. So I'm gonna fold it. Oops. Just don't crush your box. And then I'm going to fold it over. Use my bone folder. Right, that's the back, right? Yeah, okay. So here's the first side, and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna close it in the back. Okay, one more time, let's make sure. Okay, why is that not staying closed? It's being difficult. Maybe I trimmed the tabs too much. Okay, so we're just gonna put some adhesive right here. Wrong one. So it slides up and down. Now, this is gonna go in the center of this, and we're just gonna use our liquid glue. Oh my gosh, we had, we, uh, I picked our first, fir oh, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. I picked our first two cucumbers off out of our garden yesterday, and David accused me of picking them too early, and I cut them up for dinner, and oh my gosh, they were so good. So yeah, we've technically had our first 
our first two um, cucumbers. Okay, this is gonna go on here, and we need a couple dimensionals. Okay, this is gonna go there, and then this. We want the dimensional on the top, And then now we're gonna open this up and we're gonna add our ribbon. Okay, so. So I'm tying this, but then I'm gonna untie it <laughs> because I wanna add the greeting, but um, so now what I'm going to do is thread the greeting on this piece here. that back down and we have one little embellishment to add I'm gonna add a little rainstone it came off on my finger I don't like to waste any of these so we're gonna use it So here's the box. In just a minute, I'm gonna show you um, what fits in there. Here's the one from earlier. And this is the card we made last week, the gift card holder. And now I'm gonna show you what will fit in here. So I got a whole bag of stuff in here. So we're gonna open this up and um, the dollar Mm, what's that dollar store? Not Dollar General, but the dollar, it's one of those dollar stores. Uh, they sell uh, tissues that are a little bit shorter than the normal Kleenex ones. So that will fit in here, okay? There's that one. We've also got hand sanitizer will fit in there. Um, candy will fit in there. So we got two packs of the Reese, Reese's Pieces. Um, a couple con bars will fit in here. And these, what are these cookies called? Oh, I love these cookies so much. Strawberry wafers. I got them at the dollar store too. Um, you can fit three of these in one box if you put them in sideways. Yeah. See, look at that. Oh wait, let's slide this back down. You could actually attach this to the box if you want to so that it doesn't slide back and forth. So we're gonna start with uh, the supplies. Let me pull these out. Oh, my cheat sheet stuck under my light. Okay, we have Coastal Cabana and this measures eight and a half by five and a half. And then we have a scrap of basic white for our stamping. Our inside piece measures four and a half by three and a quarter. Uh, Poppy Parade is a scrap and that's like three and a half by three and a half. We, you need a half inch strip for the greeting. I have two just in case I mess up the first one. And then two pieces of the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. They both measure five and a quarter 
This one's five and a quarter by two and a quarter, and this one is five and a quarter by one and three quarters. So this is all of your pieces here. I like laying these out. It looks so organized, don't it? Um, okay, so like I said, I think I said it, um, I have made this card before a couple of different times, but um, it's been a while. Let's see, these are the ones we're stamping on. So the rest of this will slide. Wait, come back here. We're stamping on this one too. <laughs> okay, good morning. We're using three inks. I kind of have like a tickle in my throat, so if I half cough, just excuse me. It's crazy allergies. So I'm using Memento and Poppy Parade and Granny Apple Grain. Yeah, beautiful colors together, right? So we're gonna start, let me get my Stampin' Mat. This stamp set is actually a photopolymer stamp set. So when you're stamping um, with it, it does like the uh, Stampin' Mat, the, the cushion of it, okay? So we're gonna start with this image here. And then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna stamp <clears throat> this image. Oh, goodness gracious. Now we're going to use uh, Poppy Parade next. And we're going to stamp the hearts. <laughs> Let me stand up for this one. <laughs> There's that. And then we're gonna stamp the little clock thingy. I probably just put my head in the camera. There's really no way to stamp that and not. My hair is clean today. Let's see. Okay, now the cherries. We're gonna close that up. And we're gonna use the Granny Apple Green. This set is so, 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 so cute. And I'm sad that it doesn't have dyes, but it's so cute that you have to use it anyway. Oh, I've put all the stamps away and we need to stamp that again. We'll, we'll do it in a little bit. We'll work on the inside of the card afterwards. How about that? Yeah. Okay, so now we are going to color this and we are using a uh, pool party ink and I'm gonna start with the dark. Um, let me see if I can, I'm gonna grab my chart real quick. I want to make sure that you guys saw that I posted this yesterday. Um, I updated the chart with our current colors. So anything that retired is no longer on the chart. Um, and I have lost my magenta madness, <laughs> the light one. So it'll turn up and eventually I will um, update that and I will update the PDF because uh, you can get this document or form PDF in two ways. You can either uh, print it out blank and do your own squiggly lines, uh, or you can download the, the color scan copy that I made. Just know that this one's missing. And I checked my markers before I did the chart yesterday, and I only had one that I had accidentally let dry out, and it was my light 
Cajun craze, but I had already had an extra one, so yay. Okay, now back to this. <laughs> Sometimes uh, watching, um, people learn more by watching a video than by talking or writing, so that's why I decided to throw that in there. I'm concentrating on staying uh, within the lines. Now I'm gonna take <clears throat> the light pool party. I can tell I'm fixing to need a new light pool party. So have y'all seen that app that people are using to make their cartoon face? I did mine this morning. I'm going to show it to you real quick. It's so funny. I'm not going to post it though. Um, there's that one. Can y'all see that? The cartoon face. And then, so there's a cool one and there's a dark one. <laughs> it's basically like a baby face. Anyway, I did it, but I'm not posting it. It's not even me. Well, it is, but it isn't. You know what I mean? I think the app is called Voila. It's free on the App Store. Everybody's doing it. I did it. You know why I did it? Because Brooke did it. I'm going to cut this out to be a smaller piece because it's easier for me to fussy cut when it's small. And the same thing for this one. It's easier to cut out if it's holdable. I'm going to try to stop throwing paper on the ground. <laughs> I, when I create or when I stamp, I always toss the scraps in the floor and um, we had some workers come in to do some work on the house this week and I had to clean the whole house and um, the floors. And <laughs> I was like, why do I do this to myself? It's just so easy to just toss it. And I've done it forever. I mean, yeah, because it kind of bothers me. It's distracting to have it on my desk. So I just scrape it off or blow it off into the floor. But I'm going to try to retrain my brain to toss it in my um, recycle container. We'll see how long it lasts. They say you can form a new habit. Uh-oh. Oh, i got to stop talking. In 14 days. So, we'll see. Oh, oh you know what I did? I, <laughs> I ordered a... Um, a hair salon broom and dust pan because I'm thinking, you know what? Sometimes I think the reason I don't sweep every day is just because I got to bend over and use the dust pan. So I ordered a long handled uh, broom and dust pan that they use at the hair salon. Okay, I only messed up one little spot. Let's see if I can fix it. It was cheap too. It was like, I don't know, um, 20 bucks on Amazon. Now for this one. Not too shabby, right? I checked and rechecked and double and triple checked to make sure that there was not dyes matching this. And I kept hoping that I was looking at it wrong and that there was dyes. Maybe I should look at the comments. It's, if they are, they're not on the page with the stamp set. 
Okay, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to mess this up. Okay, not too bad. There's one little sp spot right here that I don't really care for, so I'm gonna try to fix it. Sometimes when I try to fix stuff like this, though, I, I go from bad to worse. Okay, get out of there. Now, we're done with that part. Are y'all still there? <laughs> I haven't looked up at comments for a few minutes, so, well, actually several minutes. Uh, I'm gonna stamp the greeting now on this half inch strip. And I need my stamping mat again. Hopefully that's straight. I threw that, um, ooh, this don't look good. It looks like I got too much ink on one corner. Hold on, let me get a scrap piece of paper. Whoops. Well, it looks like it was okay. Oh, uh, remember the ink pad I used the other day? It was all fuzzy. I threw it in the garbage because I found another one here in my studio, so let's try it one more time. The Y has a lot of ink on it. That was better. Uh, let's go ahead and stamp on the inside of the card too. So we're going to stamp some of the same images again. We're going to stamp the little bowl with the cherries and the hearts. So down here and I need my poppy parade. I gotta bring this closer to my face. And Granny Apple Green one more time. Oh, I have ink on my knuckle. And we're gonna take Sweet Friend Now we'll set that aside. So we are done stamping. Now we're gonna take our Coastal Cabana piece and we are going to score it. Yeah, it doesn't have dies. I checked and double checked, I triple checked and I kept checking. Uh, but that's okay, y'all just saw me fussy cut it out. It wasn't too difficult. Okay, so we're gonna score on the eight and a half inch side. I like to call this the landscape side at two and a half. 
and six and a half. Uh, do I use the same cleaner for all the inks? Um, I just use my Simply Chamois for everything. Yeah. That's all I use. Sometimes I use a baby wipe if these are not clean. But, yeah, that's what I use. Okay, now, there's that. What we're going to do now is, this is the side that's thicker. That's the top. And this is the thinner side. See? So I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue on both sides to close this up. Just a thin line. And then hold it there for a second to let it dry. Now we're gonna take this designer series paper and add it down here. So you guys can get the Pattern Party Designer Series paper uh, with a $150 order. It is a host item. You will have to pay the difference. There is a few dollar difference, but you can get it with a $150 order. You just have to pay the couple dollar overage, okay? It's worth it because the pack of paper is just so fabulous. And it's gonna be in the catalog for a whole year. We The catalog just launched, so it's gonna be around a while. Um, what was I gonna say? There was something else I was gonna say. Okay, so this is going to go in here, but we're going to be adding a gift card also. Okay, so we're going to take this piece here and use the hippo dies. Let me slide everything over so I can get my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I could have technically used the little one today, but... This one was already out. Why do I stamp upside down? Um, I really don't know. <laughs> That's a great question. I think out of habit, we have so many stamps that don't, um, well, let me show you. So for example, this stamp is too long for the ink pad, or in my opinion, it is, especially if you, if you do it this way. Let me show you. So if it, like if you're doing it that way, it just barely fits. I feel like I get a better, I don't know. Sometimes I just do things different. I can't really explain it. Yeah, I don't know. That's a great question though. Okay, let's get all our pieces back in here. I have been stamping for um, a really long time. So, okay, whack and whack. So there's our grading. So we're gonna add our little um, hippo and friends die piece. Uh, so what I wanna do is you wanna make sure that you place this so that you have room to add your greeting and that it don't go off your card. Um, and then you also want to make sure that when you add your images and your fruit here, oh, upside down, um, that it don't exceed past the top of your card. Okay, so you got to pay close attention to that. So what I like to do is, is look at the center of this section right here and place that on this seam. Does that make sense? maybe up just a smidge, okay, like that. So I'm gonna put liquid glue here. Just on the top part, because if you put it on the bottom, then you've just sealed your gift card holder. Okay, 
center, center, and up a smidge. And then we're going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we're going to add this image. And then Dimensionals again. And we're going to add this one. And then we're going to add two dimensionals on the greeting. And this is going to go right up here. Okay. And then we got to add just a little bit of bling. So we're going to add a rainstone right in the center of that little thingy preferably in the center Okay, so there you have it. It opens up like that. Now I'll show you the one I made this morning. And here is the little gift card that goes in there. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, you guys have a great night. Thanks a lot.